Hey, how's it going? Um, I have it. I was talking to my buddy Steve. This is like a little update video, I guess. And I was talking to my buddy Steve, like how uh, Steve, how, like how I don't look into the camera, and I can't figure out where the camera is when I film. I'm trying to look straight. I don't know where straight would be. I guess it would be here. So I guess I'm looking straight, but I don't know where the camera is. So I'm look, always looking off like maybe I'm talking to someone over here, but so I apologize. Um, so I just wanted to show a few videos, my ears itching. Um, I wanted to show, I don't know why you would need to know that. I wanted to show um, kind of like a process of um, kind of the stuff I go through um, with these like the, these prints and, and kind of the, um, maybe um to share to see if there's other creative people like me out there hopefully i'm not alone in this um in in this the, this i guess i don't know if it would be called madness or whatever it's it's normal normal to me um i kind of uh set up this um this this system of 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 the way i the way i do stuff uh, you know what? The best way is just for me to to, to show you because I can just sit here and jibber jabber all the time. And, and and if you don't have anything visual to look at, I think it'd be kind of boring. Uh, so I laid I laid things out uh, as a visual aid to make it a little more interesting. So uh, I'll just uh, turn the camera around. All right, here's so you can kind of get an idea. Okay, so this this is a print I'm going to actually print. Today, this is Thursday morning. It's like six o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm actually waiting for Kinko's to open. And it, I'm gonna try to make this a real short video. I always say that. I'm always gonna make these a real short video and they turn out being forever long. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do here is I've gone as far as I can go with um, on this copy machine. Um, so I'm gonna have to take it to uh, FedEx office, which I like to call Kinko's from now on. I'm gonna call Kinko's because that's what it was before is FedEx office. It'll always be Kinko's to me. So I'm gonna take this to Kinko's and um, cause they have better quality machines. I always gotta say that, but I love you, baby. I love you, R2D2. That's what I call this. R2D2, I love you though, but you're beautiful. Nothing against you, but the ones that Kinko's do more better quality. If I keep copying on that machine, this is the original, um, the original collage, like, you know, I could pull these pieces of paper up if I really wanted to. Um, it, it'll just get too blown out. And when I'm dealing with like photographs, um, you know, I want a level of distress, but if it gets to the to a point to where um, things get too blown out, you know, it just won't look good. And I have a lot of real fine detail in here um, that, I, that I want to keep. You know, I want to, uh, you know, I want you to know that Ed, Ed is wearing a, a rat fink shirt. If it gets a little too blown out, you're not going to be able to tell that that's a rat fink. Um, of course, this gets blown up 200%. So I got to keep that into in mind also. So um, I want a good, good clear copy as I can get from here on out. Um, so I got to take this Kinko's. I'm going to cut this apart. Um, and I will probably make a video of me printing this because I'm going to do an addition that's going to be um, certain parts are going to be black. It's going to have a, a fluorescent orange background. Um, I would like to do a color match of the road agent. I really like this car, but that would be impossible for me to do. So I'm just going to go with like a, this, this, I read that the, the top is supposed to be like a fluorescent orange top. So I'm going to do a fluorescent orange background and black. And I am going to do a red, uh, the additions, the background, the background collage is going to be red over the orange and then black. So, okay. So here I talked about that way too long. Okay. So Monday I did this Monday. I did this collage and I laid this out. Okay. So I plan on printing this this week. I even thought about printing this, but here's the deal. So that was this week. I've had these laid out for like last year for months. I've had these laid out to the point to where I had to change the copyright, my, my legal information from 2020 to 2021 because I didn't get them done in 2020. Um, and then it's, it's one of those things that's like, it's like that, not that there's, you know, there's a process involved in these, but it's not like, it's not like this. 
does it does that make sense like there's more involved here there's more like someone might look at this oh he just blew these stickers up and and did this you know did, did this but like there's to me there's just as much merit in this that there is to this um you know th this is going to be a four color print these are going to be well these were going to be one color prints but um uh, let me see what am i going to try what am i trying to say but like there are like i already know what this entails so it's like i lay them out and then i then i like put them on the back burner so you know so when i have time i'm going to print these and what happens is is they just get piled up and then i feel this like pressure like like i got like all these prints i gotta do well i i'm like i'm not like I, like like i have a boss standing on my shoulder saying you gotta get these done you gotta get these done the, am i making sense it's like i build this pressure up for myself so i have this like weight on my shoulders that oh, i got these six prints i need to get done and i'm feeling like you know like when i'm sitting on the couch trying to just enjoy myself or, or i'm like not working on something i feel like i have this work i have to do that i've created for myself which makes no freaking sense at all this is part of the struggle of being a creative person and a I guess like a like I'm like 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 I don't I don't know I think there's a lot of creative people it's like a a lot of people and I, I maybe it's just not it, maybe it's just everybody it's like this you, you got to have this life balance that I have never ma that I've never mastered and I don't think I ever will at this point I'm 51 years old that um I don't know, I have a hard time enjoying like free time so anyway I don't know where I'm even going with this video but I just wanted to share that this that that like this kind of this kind of stuff so what i decided to do is i'm going to print this because it's just going to drive me crazy i really want to see this i thought well i'm going to print this but i'm not i'm going to put this on the back burner i'm going to move bad news up in its place just so i know i got this one done and then just kind of print this later because this is just going to be a four color print it's pretty even though it is complex it is um it is um pretty um it is pretty at this point it's pretty simple for me to print these four color prices plus I, I i haven't done one in a while because here's what's crazy is since this i've done at least six prints in here in here plus i'm also working on a commission piece and i'm working on um, i have another other projects i've been doing in here and ones i'm working on currently right now so in saying that, that's what I wanted to—I wanted to tell you that. So, also, I just wanted to also share where this inspiration came from. Someone asked me about where I got this. Um, this came from this uh, 1964 souvenir guy. I have had this for a while. Um, a lot of this came from this. The final thing I went on my first adventure um, drove up to. St. Louis to uh, visit my sister and then drove a little bit past St. Louis to um, this dude Dustin's house who, has, who is a huge Rat Fink fan, had a, an amazing collection. Um, got a lot of images there, uh, took a lot of uh, photographs and ended up with this, this image right here. Um, I got this from uh, my buddy Joe, this uh, Drag Fink, which is a rare uh, water decal right here. So in, in, in this Fink is in the road agent. So I've always been wanting to use this. And then I had this myself, this 1964 souvenir program. And in here, see, I haven't even used this. It has this story, Ed Roth. And then look at these cool little graphics. I'll be using these in something. And see, I had this, which is actually if I back up here, is this graphic, is this line artwork, is actually this too, except this is all small and all smushed out, which is cool, which I was going to use for this, but Dustin had it so much clearer, and in this uh, dot pattern, so I used that, and this video is going on, look at this, this is so good, and this is also something where this was in pristine collection, uh, pristine condition where I go and also this Dustin if you're watching this video this is why I have you when I was at your house while I was handling while you were handling your original coloring book we were looking at because when something comes here something uh, you know I paid a pretty 
good piece for this. This is where something comes to die because I immediately ripped this out with my big clumsy gorilla hands. Um, yeah, I got this 1964, stayed intact since 1964, and then it came here to die. Uh, but it would look pretty nice hung up on my wall. That would look good. That would be a nice. I could just stick that on the wall and, and it could be like, oh, I see you stuck something up in our, you know, in our kitchen. So, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, someone also asked, where did I get the photos uh, to use in this collage? It came from this article about the road agent in here. Um, one thing about Ed Roth, he's a good looking dude. And he was huge, man. He's like a big old dude. Um, so anyway, um, that's that. I'll be pretty this. I just kind of wanted to just, I haven't done a video in a while. just wanted to kind of come in here and just uh, show you this part of the process. How I kind of get backed up. Kind of makes me kind of a little bit uh, crazy. You know, I got all this, and then also this is something else that's also driving me crazy. This um, really good snake image, that's going to make a really nice print. Um, but also another thing I wanted to say is, is I feel like I always have to defend myself. Um, you know, it, like these are, to me, like these started off being one colors, but now they're going to end up being three colors because, you know, it, it's like things evolve so these have gotten a little more kind of put them on the back burner too because when i was doing the one colors i felt like i i like them you know i look at these like these one color you know one colors because they're like you know they are just the uh you know, the, the the little decals are so cool but i wanted to like um like celebrate the the decals and what's so cool about the decals and just like I almost make this stuff for, um, well, I do, I make this, I do this. Number one, it's like a dream come true to be able to be an official Rat Pink artist. It's just, it's just amazing. I, 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 I'm so blessed and grateful that I get to do this. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I can't believe it. It's just like, a, it's, it's unreal, but like, um, Oh, what was I going to say? It, okay, it's unreal. But then it's it's like, you know, I do this stuff for, you know, I do it for myself. It's like I'm motivated by things I want done. Like I want to see, like like I picture like what would I like to do? So like when I when I you know, come home from work, I would like to, you know, I would just think, I imagine like I come home, like, like when I come home from work and I walk down this hallway to go to my bedroom. Like if I had going down this hallway, you know, line the wall, 16 by 20, all the way down that wall, 16 by 20 frame prints of these water decals. I mean, it would just make my day. You know, or sit over here, mind this, mind this mess right here. Instead of this, you know, frame misfits print that's never, that I haven't hung up, you know, it's just been sitting there for some reason, it's just still sitting there. Like if they were just lined up right there, like the four color water decals. Just lined up. How? I mean, that would just that would make my day. You know. I mean, I mean, I just. So I think about like I think about like that's my motive, like my motivation. So, anyway, just you know, that's why I do this. Okay, I'm jibber jabber, and this has gone on way too long. Uh, like always, the um, the best place to follow me to kind of if you want to watch, I do like a lot of these kind of videos all the time. Um, is number one, like, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, another best place to follow, the best place to follow me is on my, what is this thing called? Instagram, Jim H. Madison. You can like, you know, click on there and watch videos and all that stuff. And we have been listening to El Astronauta on Spotify. Um, they got a new record coming out. It is March 4th, uh, 2000. 21, but we're listening to them on Spotify today. And um, if you need a link, just send me a message over here and I'll send you a link to their, uh, what is this? Spotify. And you can just, you know, click right there. There's Corey right there. And that's downtown Bowling Green right there. And he wears that mask 24 7. So if you see some dude wearing that mask 24 7 with that skateboard, that's Corey. Tell him hello. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.